okay and welcome to my channel yesterday i visited saint anne's church in manchester before the 18th century manchester had only one church which is now the cathedral as the town grew a new one was needed funds were provided by lady anne bland and the design in the fashionable classical style is thought to be the work of john butler saint anne's was consecrated in july 1712 the stone used was a purple, purplish red sandstone found nearby in Carlyhurst. The stone is, off, is very soft and material from several of the quarries can be found on the exterior as repairs have been made over the years. From 1887 to 1889 the interior was modelled by Alfred Waterhouse, architect of the town hall. He raised up the ch chancel, created the vestries and laid a chapel and moved the pulpit to one side. At the west end, the stairs and gallery were also changed. The original communion table, the gift of Lady Anne Bland, was put into the late, new Lady, Lady Chapel. The Lady Chapel now also contains a painting of the Descenter from the Cross, painted in the manner of the Anibal Caracci, born in 1561. The picture was brought from Italy by a church warden of St Peter's and used to hang in that church until it was demolished in 1907. In a very different style, however, is the Art Deco window. It is a memory of Hilda Collins, who founded the Northern School of Music in 1920. This school is now part of the Royal Northern College of Music, which, whose students perform regularly in St Anne's. The organ, which dates from 1730, was originally on the West Gallery. It has now grown over the years and is now a final, fine instrument with 54 speaking stops on which recitals are given every week. It was rebuilt by George at Six Smith and Co. of Mosley in 1996. St Anne's narrowly escaped damage from the Manchester air raids by the Luftwaffe in the Seventh Second World War and still has a burnt out incendiary bomb which fell out on, onto the roof. In 1996 the IRA bomb devastated the city centre and caused the upstairs windows to be blown in on one side and out on the other. Fortunately, the organ has been removed for rebuilding, so it is still preserved. After 300 years, St Anne's is still a place of worship and a cultural life in the heart of Manchester. That's a Jesus Good Shepherd window. That's a Jubilee window. And that is a Salomon window, I think. Jonathan Patton, um, I'm not sure who he is actually, um, but he must have been an important man to have his name on there. Mary Dells was one of the ladies that funded this place, this lovely church. And of course, if you're rich, you've got your name on your own place. So here we go into the Lady Chapel. You might go a bit dizzy here, I am sorry. And there's an absolutely amazing painting at the end there. Um, and I, I'm sorry I didn't take a photograph of that, to be honest. I wish I had done now. But it's a gorgeous painting and it's really unusual and you'll find some similar paintings to that in um manchester cathedral which i might go to next so there's a timeline stop this if you need to um of what's happened in the church the lighting's poor i don't have any equipment i'm not sure they use this a lot now it doesn't look like they do but they could possibly Um, I'd like to say thank you for watching my video and um, please like and subscribe to my posts. See you again soon.